Oh, almost fell off the chair. Oops. Kinda looks like matcha ice cream, which I'm craving for. It just smells so good. Every time I smell it, I'm like, sponges! <laughs> this is... Hey guys, welcome to my monthly favorites. You guys have no idea how much of an achievement, a goal, this is for me. I mean, I mentioned this before that I haven't filmed anything on my YouTube channel for the past year just because I was in esthetician school and that just took a lot of my time. And if you guys are not new to this channel, you guys know that I post religiously at the end of every month for my monthly favorites. So again, did not post anything for the month of January based off of the lunar calendar. <laughs> So this is my first monthly favorites of the year. Let's just talk about my first favorite. This is a sweater that I got during Christmas time from my auntie. The front of the sweater says, you're enough. And the back of the shirt says, dear person behind me, the world is a better place with you in it. I just thought this was the sweetest sweater ever. It's so uplifting. It's so inspiring. And if you're feeling down, just read the sweater. I just filmed a demo and review on a new product. So I apologize if my foundation is a bit much right now. But we're moving on. The second product I have here is by Patrick Ta. I am literally sleeping on this guy's makeup. I had no idea he was a clean brand. But I did look at some of them and not everything had that green check mark at Sephora. So I was hesitant to buying everything, which I normally do. But I did want to purchase this new powder. This is... Okay, one thing is that the packaging is beautiful but I can't read it. It's so reflective. So this is the Cream Contour Powder Bronzer Dual and this is in the color She's Bronzed. So as you can see that there are two... So as you can... So as you can see there are two products in this palette. The top one does have a plastic cover because this is in a cream finish and this is a powder. I love how soft and creamy this is. I can use my fingers to apply this on my face, a stippling brush, um, an angled brush, even a sponge. It's so pretty. It just warms up the complexion. And then this is a traditional powder, but I feel like this powder is very creamy too. So I'm going to apply this on the side here. looks kind of orangey because my hands are a lot lighter than my actual face. But once you go ahead and apply the powder over the cream, it literally sets it, but it does give a nice soft kind of seamless bronzer. I have it on right now. Again, it's very soft. It's not too orangey. It's not too heavy. It's just like a perfect bronze look. I finally caved in and bought this. Sponges! <laughs> I am a sponge person. I love sponges in general. I use it on myself, on my clients, and I wanted something latex-free because I do offer lash glue that's latex-free that can bother some people. This is also hypoallergenic. It's super soft. The firmness is not too firm and it's very bouncy, which I really like. I use it under my eyes as a concealer all over face for foundation and it works really nice. And I just love that the sponge doesn't have like a weird coating around the actual sponge. I'm not sure if you guys have experience, but there's some sponges that has like a weird coating around it. This is definitely super soft. And again, it just makes the makeup so seamless. Ooh, claws, hair claws, not just claws. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but I recently cut my hair. It is still kind of on the longer side. Oh, I almost fell off the chair. Oh. So I bought this clip because my hair the whole last year was like literally down to my booty, flat booty. So I had to find a claw, I keep saying claw, a hair claw, hair clip that was long enough to hold all my hair. I cut my hair now, so I can't even use this because it's like too much. But anyways, this is perfect for someone who does have really long hair or even thick hair. Just for reference, with my hair length now, I use this and look how much bigger it is. Definitely very good for someone who has long hair. So I bought these in a few different colors, but now I'm kind of like kicking my own butt because I don't have long hair anymore and I can't use it. Ooh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this to you guys, but I am going to 
another state next month for a wedding and I will be doing the hair and makeup. So I'm so excited because I love destination weddings. Therefore, I will be packing certain things with me, but not everything. So if I can, I'm going to film a video of what I bring for destination weddings. But this time, not international, just domestic. But still, it's the same thing. You still got to bring all your stuff. In addition to what I need to bring, I was looking for something to keep my sponges in because I literally always just have it in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't stamp onto anything else in my makeup kit. But now I found these guys. So they have little slits here for ventilation. It's very easy to put in here because you just basically squeeze and just stick the sponge in there. This way it just doesn't get everything else dirty. I liked it so much that I bought it in two different colors. I saw these on Amazon and I thought these were genius. Like so good. So good. <laughs> this product here is definitely a childhood favorite. I bought this during, I believe, Black Friday special in, after Thanksgiving because our family just loves to go to the store. And standing in line, I always call it the bonus round. So anytime I'm shopping and I'm standing in line for the registers, like at Sephora, Home Goods, even department stores or, or even clothing stores, they always have like knickknacks, socks, boxers, I don't know, hair ties, anything that you can easily add on to what you're buying because you're just standing in line. Yes, I call that the bonus round. So I saw this there. Obviously, I went to the store Gap and I saw this scent, Dream. If you guys know, you know, this is a childhood memory that we used to wear, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it. It just smells so good. Every time I smell it, I'm like, oh, young, free, <laughs> and happy. <laughs> it just smells so nice. I don't think I will wear this as a fragrance. However, in my restroom or just around the house, if I just want a little pick-me-upper and something pleasant to smell, I'll go ahead and just spritz this around the room. I had to go buy a new laptop this year just because my other one is outdated. So I got this cool case. It has a handle so you can hold or around your wrist. It's nice and padded inside with little compartment slots. I can actually fit two lap. I could actually fit two laptops in here. My husband and I's. I tried it before. It doesn't bulge out because there were two slim laptops in here. My old one was like one bulky one, which probably would only fit in here. I just love that this is a nylon duffel-ish kind of um, material so if it does get dirty or something spills it's easily to clean without me buying a new one but I just love this color so here's my laptop bag that I will take with me when I travel Mirat Beauty I was so thankful and so grateful and appreciative that they always give me the opportunity to try out their products, give my honest feedback, opinions for myself and even for you guys. So this is a lipstick that just launched, I believe, on the 22nd. Yes, February 22nd. This is their newest lip product. This is the signature lip in the matte formulation. I just love the package. It's so pretty. Everything about them is just so fancy and luxe. I am a big fan of Mirit. They are known for their makeup, no makeup look, very minimal, fresh looking face, and I highly do recommend them. I have pretty much everything from their line and it's just amazing. This is in the color Sunday. It's a very pretty fuchsia-ish kind of lipstick with the more mauve and not so plummy or purpley. Isn't that so pretty? I just love the formulation. My lips tend to be on the drier side that this definitely does coat it very smooth and it's so comfortable on the lips. Givenchy came out with new concealers in addition to their color correctors. I am actually wearing this lighter concealer under my eyes to brighten and I did the traditional triangular shape to really brighten up the center of my face. I've actually used the green color corrector I believe on the center of the face where I do tend to have the most redness and it works so well. I just love the consistency of this. It's very smooth. It has enough pigment to really neutralize the reds, but of course I still have to follow through with a concealer to even everything out. I love the doe foot applicator. It's like a triangular kind of extended shape, like a rounded diamond, if you will. So it actually does help when you're applying it onto corners of 
your face. So if you want to like sculpt out your brows, maybe really focus on the highlight in the center of the face and you want that straight line, this Dofa applicator really does help. It just has a really soft, even application and it glides really smoothly. Kind of looks like matcha ice cream, which I'm craving for. So that's basically it for my monthly favorites, guys. Short, sweet, and simple. Again, I'm just trying to ease back into videos. So I do want to keep my videos consistent and hopefully you guys can send me some love and support throughout the year because I definitely need it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my monthly favorites. If you guys like videos like these, consider subscribing. Hope you guys can give me a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!